One of the great things about archery is that it's a sport that you can do right in your own backyard, but you want to make sure that it's safe to do so before you start practicing. In this video, we're going to give you some general guidelines to help you with that process. One of the first things you want to do is make sure that it's actually legal to shoot a bow and arrow in your yard in whatever town, city, or county that you're living in. And you can find out that information by calling a nearby archery shop if you have one that's in your same town, or by calling your local police de department's info line. Your county, city, or town's website is another great place to find local ordinances against shooting archery equipment or weapons of any kind. The next thing you wanna do is, especially if your neighbors are close in, is to have a conversation with them, let them know what you're planning to do, to have that upfront conversation with them to avoid any conflicts in the future. Now you can go ahead and start looking at your yard to determine if you have a safe direction to shoot in and lay out your archery range. So what you wanna do is figure out where you wanna place your target. If, there, if you're where you wanna place your target, if there's a house, a road, a playground, something where there's going to be a lot of people, that's probably not the best place to put it. So think about what's beyond your target, where, where you're placing it. And you also want to think about a backstop or having some distance beyond your target in case you were to miss. Murphy's Law definitely applies in archery. Whatever can happen will happen. So plan on missing, even if you're a great archer, uh, misses happen, you know, equipment failures happen. So Keep that in mind, especially with the many thousands of arrows you're probably going to be doing in your own backyard. A good rule of thumb for distance beyond the target, let's say you're shooting 30 yards at your home range, you want to have 25 yards beyond that target. And if you're not able to, do, to have that much space, you can have a physical barrier like a large backstop, you can hang carpet behind your target, something to stop your arrows. Another type of backstop is a natural one where let's say you have a steep hill in your backyard and you can place a target at the bottom of that hill and use that hill as your backstop, that would be an, an excellent option as well. One more thing to consider is that not every archery range needs to have a really long distance. Even if you only can shoot five yards safely, that's a great option for you know setting up a blank bale, shooting up close, working on your form, keeping up your, your endurance in between practice sessions at your local archery range. In addition to having space beyond your target for an arrow to land, you also want to have a safe distance on either side of the target. Again, let's use that 30 yard range example. You'll want to have 15 yards on either side of that target, designated as safe space where there won't be any people or objects that you don't want to hit. Shooting at a small block target like the one behind me, where it's set on the ground and you're shooting, standing up, shooting at a downward angle to it, that is a really safe way to shoot. Shooting at downward angles keeps those arrows heading into the ground and prevents them from going very far. Another way to keep your arrows from leaving your yard is how you draw your bow. If you're drawing your bow up in the air like this, if, you're, if you were to release that arrow accidentally, that arrow is going to go really far away and that's called sky draw. It's something you want to avoid not only in your backyard but in all archery ranges. Once you have your backyard archery range all set up and ready to go, you'll want to use good range safety rules every time you go shoot. So that means if you have any pets, make sure that they're inside, not running loose. And everyone in your family knows that when you're outside shooting, they know where your, your shooting line is and they know to stay behind it. And then you can also use range commands if there's other people outside with you. Let them know when the range is clear and you're going to go pull your arrows and when you're about to start shooting. If you still have any lingering questions of whether or not your backyard is safe for archery, what you can do is you can snap some photos, bring them into your local archery shop, talk it over with the experts there, and they'll help you determine where you should place a target if your backyard is safe, and walk you through that whole process and even help you pick out a target. I hope these guidelines have been really helpful for you guys. Again, use your good judgment and be safe out there.